My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. Today I'm viewing Penhaligon's Halfetti. This is 178 pounds for 100 mil. The notes are grapefruit, bergamot, heart notes are lavender, cardamom, cumin, nutmeg, saffron, violet, cinnamon, rose, jasmine, cypress, lily of the valley. Base notes are leather, oud, amber, resins, cedarwood, patchouli heart, tonka, vanilla, sandalwood, musk. My goodness, and it's made in England. How exciting. Do we have our bottles of Hefeti? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. Hefeti makes me think of confetti. So I've never tested this house. Super excited, don't know anything about it at all. This is very well crafted. This is utilizing a lot of raw materials I love, and this is really up-to-date perfumery. The Kashmarin is really, really apparent, and Kashmarin is a solid at room temperature and it's also crystalline and it has a minty feel. It's a musk and it helps to accelerate fragrances through the formulation. It is really, really apparent and this is a brilliant raw material. Very, very safe. It's a high-tech, modern, indispensable raw material. Because it's solid at room temperature, it helps to alter the viscosity, which means it helps to latch onto the skin and expand. It has a real expansive quality. So when you put it into a formulation, it helps to sort of expand the formulation out and be very clean. So when you're dealing with very dense, heavy raw materials, cashmere is just brilliant to help to give that sort of cleanness. So this is using raw materials I'm using right at this moment in time. Obviously not now because I'm recording this, but around this time I'm recording this, I am working with these raw materials. I really like this because it's patchouli heavy. And within this, there is a raw material called healing wood and healing wood is called turpinless patchouli. And healing wood is a crystalline, it's very interesting. And it smells of uh, clean patchouli. See any way I can explain it and it really can help to dry a formulation out and give extension, it's very, expen very expensive. That sort of, it, it gives that dry cleanness that is essential for modern perfumery. It's brilliant and Healing Wood goes with everything. I really, really enjoy working with it at the moment. I really like this. It sort of smells like something I've developed. So I think it's excellent, very surprised because to be honest with you, the bottle looks a little bit dated. It looks like, I never talk about packaging and I'm not gonna criticize the company because of the packaging, but the little bow on the bottle looks like, and this is probably where they're getting the inspiration from, like an old fashioned chemist. And it looks like a little bit of a dated concept. And I personally wouldn't be drawn to this sort of formulation because of the packaging, you know, little bow. I don't like little bows. Only on one of my dogs do I like little bows. But this inside doesn't suit the packaging. This smells clean, fresh, modern. This is utilizing ambroxin and it's utilizing some raw materials that I really love using that are very expensive. Javanol, norlimbanols. This is ambery and woody at the core, sat upon a base of isu super and then just a clean musk. There is a fruit facet to this. A slight smooth peachy, quality which is helping to soften all those really harsh ambers because cashmere and healing wood and uh, javanol and limonol all those sort of uh, and amber max all that sort of stuff can smell very very high tech and when things go very very high tech they they don't smell natural so utilize so then you have to bring the formulation back with some sort of lactonic qualities or aldehydes like peach aldehydes coconut aldehydes and you wouldn't detect peach or coconut what you would actually detect is just a, a really smooth formulation this is smooth i'm so so surprised the bottle really put me off that's all i can say i love the nutmeg in this i'm working with nutmeg as well at the moment i love nutmeg as well it's a fantastic raw material and i love the sort of citrusy top notes i think this is really really fantastic actually the fruit facet i love in this but this smells like something i would i would uh, develop myself it's quite uh, i think because it's utilizing so many raw materials that i'm working with at the moment it sort of smells very familiar there's a familiarity for myself for this 
I love the Kumaran. Kumaran's a fantastic raw material. I love it. I'm working with it as well. And it's a dry, it can give a dry tonkri feel or it can aid a sweetness, a dry sweetness. And this is a dry sweetness with it. I love Javanol and Norlimbanol. Javanol, I think, is the most beautiful of all the sandwood-like raw materials. It just smells so exquisite. I think I love Javanol, Timberhole, Bangalore, Norlimbanol, all of them, Amber Max. I really, really love those sort of like raw materials. And when they're used, I really sort of like it. But Javanol in high amounts can smell like this. On to my final thoughts. I really like this. I think it's really excellent. To me, it smells quite masculine. It smells like a gentleman, what I would consider a wealthy gentleman to smell of. I don't think it's particularly youthful. I don't think it's particularly going out and having fun. I think it's a very well-dressed, serious fragrance. I love the musk accord in this. I pretty much love everything about it. I think it's really excellent technical perfumery, but I hate the packaging. So I'm gonna go through my marks with you. Uh, I think technically it's superb and brilliant, actually. I think it's really, really good. I really, really like it. So you could say two out of two. The dry down is very nice on this. It's dry, woody, ambery. So particularly the dry down is really, really gorgeous. It settles into a dry, ambery cedarwood in this. I love cedarwood. So it's got, it's got, I think, lots of things that I love about it. Yes, I like it very much. Yes, that gets a two out of two. I get very, very distracted when I smell something that I really, really like actually because it's, I find it quite inspiring. If you are an artist and you see a piece of art that you particularly love, you immediately want to go and create something. And I think musicians like that as well. The price, yeah, I think it's dead on worth the price. The raw materials and this are very expensive. So dead on worth the price to all like this. Yes, I love it very much. I think it's fantastic, but I'd love it a little bit more airy. And I'm always think the projection from fragrances that are up there in the price should be radiating off here and i'm surprised it hasn't got that sort of radiance real radiance to it i'm having to go in quite close to smell it i'd love to see it out there i think if it was out there the, the marks would be really really high i'm, I'm gonna mark it a, a nine out of ten i think it's really really fantastic actually but i'd love to see the radiance a little bit more but otherwise i think it's awesome very nice so hope you love that review thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating interesting content Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance reviews. Hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.